Hey there, car shoppers. My name is Kyle, your friendly neighborhood salesman, back today with Autodice.com in order to bring clarity to the car purchasing process for the consumer. Today, we'll be discussing a lesser known step of the sales process called the service walk. We'll go over what exactly the service walk entails, as well as what you can use this step for to really finalize your decision on your next car purchase. Let's get started. <music> service walk. The first thing that I'll say about it is you may not even get one. It really depends on the dealership and the sales associate on whether or not they'll actually take the time to do the service walk. So let's talk about what exactly it is. Well, the service walk is going to be the step probably between the test drive and the final details of the transaction where the sales associate will give you a little tour of the dealership. They'll take you over to the service department, probably introduce you to a service advisor and explain that if ever you have any needs for your vehicle servicing, that this will be a person that you can contact to make you more comfortable with the the after sale service that you can receive at that dealership. They'll likely also take you over to the parts department to show you that if there's any additional accessories you want in the future on your vehicle, such as winter mats or tires, that this would be the place to go in order to order those types of things. They would also likely show you the waiting room for the service department so that if ever you do decide to do your service at the dealership, that you'll know what types of certain things they have available while you're waiting, whether it be coffee or snacks or a television or newspapers, just to give you a feel for what the after after you've purchased your vehicle experience will be like with a particular dealership. For you though, the car buyer during the service walk, of course, seeing more details of what's available at that dealership is important, but it's also a really good step to take a breather. Since at this point you will have done the qualification, explained what you want from your vehicle, you'll have done the walk around to actually get hands on with a vehicle that may correspond to those needs. And then finally you've done your test drive to actually feel how that, that vehicle will work on the road. At this point now, it's basically time to decide whether or not that vehicle corresponds to all of those needs. So you can ask Ask during the service walk for the sales associate to grab you a bottle of water or even just give you five minutes to decompress from all the information that you've received. If you're alone, have a seat and think about the positives and negatives, the things you liked and didn't like about the vehicle that you've been looking at. If you're with somebody else, have a little conversation about it. What do you think? Is this the vehicle that's appropriate for you? Do you want to move on to the next steps of actually finalizing the transaction for that car? By having that few moments, you can actually make more of a clear decision on what you actually want to do with the rest of your time at the dealership. If you do decide that the vehicle is the appropriate one for you and really works for all of your needs, then go ahead and tell the sales associate that everything's ready and you'd like to take a look at some more details to finalize the transaction. If for some reason, however, you've decided that the vehicle's not for you during the test drive, let's say it didn't feel right, you can tell the sales associate that, you know, it, this isn't the right car for you. And if you'd be interested in seeing something else, then manufacturer's lineup, you can start back at the top and reconsider your options. But also too, if you've just decided that that's the only vehicle in that manufacturer's lineup that interests you and there's nothing else, there's nothing wrong with at this point saying, I think I'm done here for the day. Thank you so much for your time and leaving. Just make sure that you know, take that moment to really make that final decision on what you'd like to do, whether you want to continue looking at the details of the vehicle, or if you'd rather look at something else or stop looking at that manufacturer altogether. Remember, it's your car purchase. So whatever you want to do, it's up to you to do. And the service walk is a great spot to decide what it is you want to do. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the video on the service walk. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those below. If you have any ideas for a video you'd like me to do in the future, you can leave that below. And of course, please like and subscribe it really helps out the channel. And as always, keep on shopping.